kindergartners, now that we know so much about germs, and most importantly learned how not to spread germs, you're ready to do a science experiment. We're gonna do a science experiment called the potato experiment. And in this experiment, you're gonna to get to discover some interesting things about where germs are found. Have fun scientists and get ready for more learning. In doing your science experiment, I want you to think, where do germs live? And how can we stop germs from spreading? First, you need gloves, a knife for mom and dad to use to cut, one potato, four Ziploc bags, and a marker. First, you're gonna make sure you have gloves. It's important since we're doing a germ experiment that you have gloves. Then you're gonna grab a potato that you're gonna cut in four pieces. Here we have the potato cut in four pieces. Boys and girls, then you're gonna put one of the potatoes in a Ziploc bag and label it control. This bag is called control because this potato hasn't been contaminated with any germs. I cut it and I immediately put it in the bag. So this bag is gonna be called control. For the second potato, you're gonna pick a piece of furniture. It can be a sofa, a chair, a table. I'm gonna pick a chair and I'm gonna take the potato and kind of rub it on the chair since people do sit here. And then we're gonna see what happens if there's any germs on this chair. I'm now gonna put that second potato that was on a chair and put it in this vlog bag and label it chair. This is a great writing activity too because you can sound it out. Ch, air, chair. For my third potato, I'm gonna pick toys. So I'm gonna pick different toys that Hannah uses that she uses a lot and rub the potato on the toys to kind of see if there's any germs on her toy. If you have a lot of toys at home, you can do that too. Kind of just see. Is there any germs on this? All her toys. For my third potato, I'm gonna put it in a Ziploc bag and label it toys, t t toys That starts with a T. Final potato, think about somewhere in your house or an item that you use that maybe you don't think has germs. Miss Cornell is gonna pick her phone. Think of something that you wanna pick. It can be anything in your house. So for my last potato, I rubbed it on my phone, put it in a Ziploc bag and labeled it phone. Now you're gonna take the four Ziploc bags and you can put them in a room that's really dark where you don't get a lot of sun. You can take it and put it in a plastic plate and then put it in that dark room. Put it behind a cabinet that's never usually open and kind of take all your bags there too. The place I have chosen to put the bags is my garage because it's pretty dark in there. So I'm gonna pick a corner to put the paper plate with the bag. Here's the corner where we're gonna put the plastic bags of potatoes. We'll check back in a week to see if these potatoes have germs on them and what we can do to stop germs from spreading. Kindergarteners, this week in your packet, you're gonna receive a sheet that looks like this. This sheet you're gonna complete after seven days of you starting your experiment. It is growing germs. You're gonna be able to draw what are the different things you notice on your potato after seven days in your potato one, potato two, potato three, and potato four. And then you're gonna be able to answer where are germs found and let me know what you learned from this experiment. Out of all four potatoes, where did you notice were the most germs in your house? And what can you do to prevent germs from spreading? Have a great week and enjoy your science experiment. Niños y niñas. Esta semana van a recibir una hoja que se mira así. Esta hoja van a completar después que terminen su experimento de esta semana. El experimento dura siete días. So después de siete días, me van a dibujar qué es lo que encontraron en la papa una, en la papa dos, en la papa tres y en la papa cuatro. Y luego me van a decir dónde se encontraron gérmenes en sus papas. ¿Dónde en tu casa tenía más cantidad de gérmenes? Espero que se hayan divertido y espero que tengan una hermosa semana y que se divierten con este experimento. Adiós.